According to the CDC, only 45% of adults get their flu shots. Now, that's even though it's recommended and it's proven to reduce illness, hospitalizations, and even death. So here's the question. Why do so many people choose not to get vaccinated? The I-Team's Paisy Chang here to take you into the vaccine, Paisy. Well, Stacy, the flu vaccine isn't like the measles vaccine. You get it once and it covers you for most of your life. You have to get it every year. Doctors say that getting a flu shot preps your body's response to the flu and can shorten the severity of your symptoms. You can use your hand. For Jennifer Miller, time spent with her daughters, Katie and Caroline, has taken on new meaning. It was like a really bad cough. It was something that made you uncomfortable, like when you breathe, so it hurt my breathing a lot. Caroline was just five years old when she fell ill with the flu and nearly died from complications with pneumonia. When I got to the hospital, she was already in a medically induced coma, so she was completely asleep and there were tubes and wires. And That year, Jennifer had forgotten to get her daughters their flu shots. To know that I, it could have been prevented and I was the one in charge of that is devastating to me. Every year, the CDC recommends the flu shot, but last year, only 37% of adults and 58% of children got one. In New York City, it's a mixed bag. Do you always get a flu shot? I did. I do. No, not yet. I don't have that type of immune system where I get sick easily either. So. My wife had a bad reaction to it. You cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. It provides immunity. Dr. Bruce Farber of Northwell Health says many don't get a shot because there's a misperception it can make you sick and because some don't think it works. Last year was a bad flu season. There was not a great mix between the vaccine and the virus that circulated. So how is the flu vaccine made? To answer that question, we visited vaccine maker GlaxoSmithKline in Philadelphia. Dr. Len Friedland is a vaccine scientist. What exactly is injected into a patient? What's injected into the patient is what we refer to as the antigens. The antigens are the uh, proteins that the body sees and says, aha, that is something I need to make my own immune response to. Dr. Friedland says that prepares the body to respond more readily when it actually encounters the flu virus. How those antigens are cultivated is a six-month-long process that begins each February with people like Caroline who have come down with the flu. All around the world, there are laboratories that are constantly taking samples from people's nose when they have something that looks like a cold, something that looks like the flu. Those labs identify which strains are causing sickness that particular year. The labs share the data with the World Health Organization. Most vaccines have four strains, two A's and two B's, chosen by the World Health Organization. Drug makers grow the virus inside millions of eggs. The vaccines are tested by the FDA and, once approved, shipped to doctors' offices, pharmacies, and hospitals. In general, flu shots are about 50 percent effective. Drug makers are working towards a universal flu vaccine. The idea is to have a vaccine that could provide protection regardless of what strain is coming. But so far, drug companies have been unsuccessful in creating a shot that lasts year after year because the virus is constantly changing. Since Caroline's near-death experience, the Miller family makes it a point to get vaccinated yearly. I hope that someday everyone will get vaccinated for the flu because um, it could help everyone around you. Last year, 185 children died from the flu, and 80% of those deaths occurred in children who were not vaccinated. Wow. Yeah. Interesting to take, yeah. take us behind the scenes yes. to see all that. You've really given us an interesting look at this. What's coming up in part three of your series? Part three is tomorrow, and we're going to take you to the front lines of the emergency rooms and hospitals that fight the flu. It's actually quite interesting. It's a, there's a science behind it. Hmm. Right. So. Well, there's a lot of interest in this, and so we want to thank everyone who tuned in today for a discussion yes. on Facebook Live about the flu. We talked about everything, or you did, from prevention to treatment. That was Paisy and Dr. Julia Piwaz from Hackensack University Medical Center. They took your questions. You can see the video on our NBC New York Facebook page. Lots of interest in this as we're trying to stay safe. Yes. Stay healthy. And we're still in the season, too. We're still, it's not going to be over soon. So. Okay. All right, Paisley, thank you very much. Sure.